Hey everybody, it's Brian with Everything X Car. Today, we're going to make space coasters. Star Wars coasters. Stay tuned! Once we've got easel open, we need to select our board width, length, and thickness. Uh, right now I'm doing a 36 inch length because I've got eight different coasters and some of them might not be able to take the same bit due to detail. So we're going to change that later. Next we're going to bring a circle into the board, go to shape, and this is where we can change the diameter of the circle by width and height by putting in four inches. If you click the lock box that will uh, keep the aspect ratio and that is always good if you want to keep something uh, for its intended purposes. Next we're going to go into the app library and we're going to click on replicator. And we're going to do one column, eight rows, uh, and the spacing we're going to change to 0.25. This way we're not taking up all of our board just due to spacing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the circles and we're going to select all. You can do control A and then we're going to hit edit go down to the very bottom and click center to material that way it's lined up. We go to the import button on easel click image trace uh, and then you can click upload file. All of the files I, I got were line art off of Google uh, that were readily available seeing as I'm not selling this piece and they're for my use uh, I'm okay to download them to use them for my work piece. Now that the piece is uploaded into easel, you want to move it to the right and combine the pieces because it's not one solid object. So you're going to go up to edit and then scroll down to combine. And this way it'll help keep all of the pieces uh, together when you adjust the size with your aspect ratio here. Now I was talking about that lock button and the aspect ratio. See how it's a little bit wanky here. We need to adjust that, and yes, I said wanky. I don't know any other word to say. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure that when you are adjusting images like this and you want to keep that aspect ratio, that you click that lock box. It is going to be a lifesaver when you're editing and uploading images into Easel. Now that I've remembered where that aspect lock box is, I'm going to adjust my piece to 3.75 inches so I can manipulate it into the circle a little bit easier than uh, trying to resize it in the circle from the get-go. Next step we're going to outline our piece so it has the cut instead of carving straight through so you click cut and outline. We're doing it on the outside so that way we don't get any loss on our coaster. And then we're going to readjust our image so that way we can get the most out of the coaster, the biggest picture possible. Moving to the bit selection, we notice that the antenna on Boba is not there. So we need to change the width of the bit that we're going to use. So we're going to show that 1 16th currently is the bit we're going to use to make sure that we see the full detail of what we want to carve. Anytime you don't get a good carve, uh, generally that's the main reason as to why. Once you're happy with the way that your design looks, you're going to want to repeat the steps that we just mentioned for each image that you're using. Now that all of the images are loaded and in place, we need to look at the depth that we're going to go uh, on the design. So you're going to want to move to the cut and then select your depth setting. For this instance, we're going to do 1 8 of an inch on our 0 0.30 of an inch uh, board. Now that we have all of our images in place, you're going to want to look at your, your rendering on the detailed preview to make sure that the bit you're using shows all of the detail. If not, 
then you're going to want to go down to the plus tab at the bottom and create a new file and copy and paste over the images that sh show a little less detail and change the bit setting. We'll show you how to do that here. I've copy and pasted on the other page four of the designs that the bit was too big for and I wanted to get that detail on uh, these other cuts that do need a little more uh, definition. So we've moved them to here and this will be a secondary cut and we'll be using a two-bit process on this one. For the design element of the image we're going to use a larger bit, a uh, smaller bit and for the cutout we're going to use a larger bit therefore uh, not ruining a bit or taking the chance of ruining the bit. As you can see in the detailed preview, the images aren't coming all the way through, so that's why we're changing the bit size on this page, so we can get that fine detail to show up in the carve. Thanks for watching part one on how to design the coasters. Stay tuned for part two, where we prepare our wood and start carving. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe.